So I'm caulking this uh, bathtub. We all know about caulking lots of videos, but the problem is that there's a big gap here, which already filled up. So when you have a large gap, caulking can be very difficult. I used to have grout in it, the grout got kind of worn out. So you can either maybe fill it up with grout before you caulk it, because it's also deep. What you don't see is like, it's about one inch deep here. So as some videos said, I got this back here, backing grouts from Home Depot, about like $3 a back, backer rod. They come in different sizes. So uh, this is 3 8 of an inch. This is half an inch. I cut this one. And that one is 5 8 of an inch. So basically half an inch or a little bigger or smaller. So you cut them to the size and then you put them depending on how big, for example, in this one, you can see here, this is not a very tall, but it's kind of deep. You can see the old grout in there. So what I'll do, I'll just put it in here and push, push, push. Here I put a very tiny strip. I cut a strip, a thin strip from the back of rod. But for this one, we just use the 3 8 of an inch. What you need to do, sometimes push it in. See, it goes deep. It's something like this. Or the potty. So I'm going to push it in. And then here you could put another one in front of it because again, it's kind of, as you can see, it went, it went deep. I don't want it to stick out, so I might have to cut, cut this part. This part doesn't need any because the grout is kind of still there. So I'm going to cut this in here and end it here. But yeah, I am, as you can see, I've already covered this area, kind of flushed to the surface. So I'm going to go cut. Another important point is before I put it in there, where the wall meets the top, I put a layer of caulk in that corner, just in case water gets behind this and passes the top caulking. I don't want that back area be exposed so the water goes behind the top or somewhere and create nastiness, especially we're in Florida. So be behind this, I did some caulking. If you want to be super picky, you could put a line of caulk here fresh and then put the backing rod in there. But you need to cut them and measure them. So uh, you cut them, measure them, make sure it's all ready and good. You put, you can put a beam, a line of caulk like this into the groove and then put the backing rod in there. And the silicone caulk would act like a glue and kind of hold this in place maybe better. But honestly, I decided not to do that because they kind of fit very nice and snug. So that's it.